Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Gigi's Kitchen. Today we're making one of my favorite things, and I think that a lot of you like them too, blueberry scones. And we're gonna get to use this fancy schmancy pan. We're gonna start out in our bowl here. We've got a cube of butter that's softened. Into that, we're going to put one and three fourths cup of flour. Here's the one. Here is the three fourths. I'm hoping that you're all enjoying your cooking journey along with me and that you've all made something. Okay, two teaspoons baking powder. You'll notice that we have my trusty baking bin here. I love it, everything's at my fingertips. We have two teaspoons of baking powder, one and two. And then we have a half teaspoon of salt. Here we go. And then we have two tablespoons of sugar. You'll notice I'm running out of our dog food sugar. <laughs> One, two tablespoons of sugar. So I'm gonna set this aside here for a moment and tell you about what I have here. You'll notice how beautiful this Christmas cactus is. And look at all the blooms that have been popping out. They're so pretty. This flower could be seen in my house growing up. And my mother would have these in every winter time. They would blossom and bloom in the back window. Such a vivid memory for me. And it makes me think of all the things that my mom would make for me at Christmas time. Christmas cookies and toffee and jams and pies and rolls. And I have such great memories of all of those times and the smells in our kitchen. So I'm hoping that you little kiddos will be able to have some memories of that as well, coming from your Gigi. So we're going to finish what we have here in the, what are these called? Scones. We're gonna add our last little thing, two thirds cup of buttermilk. Remember, buttermilk always tastes good in a recipe, even if you don't like to drink it. Okay, we'll take our trusty Danish dough hook, mix this all up. And it's gonna be kind of a stiff dough. It'll be drier than a cookie dough and drier than a pancake batter. That's just about what you want. So now we're gonna add some yummy things here at the end. Okay. We're gonna add some white chocolate chips. Everybody loves that. And we're going to add some fresh blueberries, a half a cup of fresh blueberries. You can also use dried blueberries, or you could use raspberries, or blackberries, or raisins. Ooh, yum, yum. Now we want to be careful as we mix these blueberries because we don't want to break them open. It'll turn the dough all purple. So we just want to carefully incorporate these things in. And that's all that's in this recipe. We're going to squish them into this funny looking pan over here. Gentle, gentle, gentle. I don't want to break open these blueberries. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of cooking spray, spray our little pockets here. I'm just gonna get my hands in here mostly and push the dough into each little pocket. We'll just do it generally to start with, make sure they're kind of even. And we'll go back and make them all pushed in. You really don't want to push them in too much because you want to keep it to be a light biscuit. 
A little bit more. Hmm, he's a big one. We'll have to move that around. Okay. Let's take a little from him, put it over here. Just press it gently, trying to make it as even as you can. This one needs to be moved a little bit. It's kind of big. This one's kind of big. You want to kind of find a way to get the blueberries inside the dough so they'll bake in the dough. Okay, this is what they look like. And they go to a 400 degree oven. 15 minutes. And while that bakes, we're going to make some lemon glaze to drizzle on the top. Okay, into our little mixing bowl here, we're gonna just add some powdered sugar to get started. Around how much? Well, maybe a cup of powdered sugar in here to start, or so. And then let's just drizzle some lemon juice in. Squirty, squirt, squirt. There it goes. <laughs> One more. I like to stack my lemons. Depending on how much juice you get out of your lemon, you'll know how much sugar you need. Okay. Let's take our little mixer and we'll mix it up. And we'll see what it looks like. We don't want it too thin or too thick. Oh, this is looking pretty good. All you, that's all you need is just powdered sugar and lemon juice. I'm gonna put a little bit more in here just because I don't want it to immediately drip off of the scone. I want it to hold its shape just a little bit. This should be plenty. Oh, this is looking good. Okay, here they are. We're just gonna grab, I like my little bowl that has a spigot on it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, this is perfect. Just a little drizzle. On every single one. On every single one. You're so right, Adelaide. And then we're going to have a little taste. All right, Miss Maddie, let's give this thing a try. Let's share, one. Let's share that one. It's so crumbly licious. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Mmm. So good. Thank you for joining us on Gigi's Kitchen. Go practice your baking, Gigi loves you, and clean up your messes.